Hey guys, it's Christian here from Solitech Solutions. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to insert and create a symbol using the black box. A black box is a symbol that can represent or that usually represents a subsystem. For instance, a motor drive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to insert and how to make a symbol of this actual motor drive. So we go ahead and we select the insert a black box symbol at the top and we simply just select its position and its size. I'm going to give my black box a name DRV and click on OK. As you can see, it automatically added terminals to the connections where the symbol intersects with the wires. What we can do is we can rename those terminals. So that's the first thing we are going to do. So right click on the symbol and select symbol properties. Left click on manufacturer parts and circuits. Then multiple select the terminals that you want to rename by holding the shift key and clicking the actual description. Right click and select modify terminals numbers. Here we can change the values of the actual terminal. I'm going to use just the standard convention here. And click on OK. So right click on the description, left click modify terminal numbers, and we can just hit the down arrow to go to the second value. Click on OK, and as you can see our terminals are now renamed. Let's add some more terminals. We can do that by right clicking on the symbol and select Add Connection Point. Select the position you want to place the connection point and just left click to actually place it. Once we're done, select the green tick and the terminals have been placed. I'm going to rename them as well. So right click, go back to the symbol properties, manufacture part and circuits, multiple select. So left click on the first one, hold down your shift key and select the last one and it will actually multiple select every and select Modified Terminals Numbers. Over here, I'm giving them some names as well. Enable. And we do the same for the terminals on the other side. Okay. Okay. Now, as you might see, we we can rotate this text 90 degrees. Same over here. We've also the option to place them inside the symbol. Um, I will just try and clean it up a little bit. Turn on. Turn off the snap. Okay. Now the next thing that we are going to do 
is we're going to actually save this as a symbol. So right click on the black box that we've created, select symbol and select add to library. We want to create a new symbol, so select the top option and give the symbol a name. After that, it's important to update the symbol type and the classification as well. The symbol type is not a black box anymore because we've defined now that it's going to be a moto drive. So it's going to be a multi-wire symbol. Any classification is going to be underneath the drives. Important to do this because then it's easier for us to find the actual symbol that we've created. And click on OK.